This video will teach you how to exactly draw angle bisector. So there are several techniques that you have to know before we start. Okay, first of all, what is the angle bisector? Okay, angle, I guess most of you would have known, it is the size of how big the angle is. For example, in this case, the angle will be over here. So now, what is a bisector then? A bisector means that it's going to cut this angle into two equal parts. Alright, angle bisector means cutting an angle into two equal parts. So how am I going to do this? Before I perform this first, to do angle bisector, I need to have a compass. So over here at the pointer end, what you're going to do, you're going to place the pointer end at the intersection of the angle. So the angle is here, you put the pointer end onto the angle. Next, get a fixed end, a fixed length of the pointer end towards the drawing end. What I want you to do is, you hold on to the hinge. There is two lines over here, one, line two. You're going to do a small arc on line one, and you're going to do a small arc onto line two. Make sure when you are doing this, you do not adjust the arms of the compass. Always keep it as of it is. Leave it. Alright, so I'll label this as arc 1A. This will be arc 1B. Alright, so now this is the starting point. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to put my pointer end onto arc 1A and I'll do a, a simple arc in between the two lines. Using the same pointer end, I put it on the intersection of arc 1B and I'm going to do a simple arc in the middle. So this is how I do it. I'll call this arc 2a and I call this arc 2b so over right over here you can see there is an intersection point between arc 2a and 2b I want you to draw a line such that it connects the intersection point here and the angle at the starting point so once you draw this straight line this line is known as your angle by sector All right so let's take a look that whether angle by sector actually cuts an angle at two equal parts so I'm going to put a protractor line onto the horizontal line at the bottom I'll measure this and I realize that it is 60 degrees So this whole angle here is equivalent to 60 degrees. So this whole angle here is 60 degrees. So if I have an angle bisector, it actually cuts it into two equal parts. So I can place it here. And right, you can see the protractor line. It's touching the line here and it goes all the way up until 30 degrees over here this line so right over here I have 30 degrees and the other side I have 30 degrees also so this is how we draw a angle bisector